Well, after a whole year of Pokemon games, I decide, yeah, I've had enough for now. And we're gonna move on to something completely different. Even though it's something I've already done on the channel, but whatever. Yep, time to do another Fire Emblem game. But not just any Fire Emblem game. This is probably the very first Fire Emblem game I've ever played in my entire life. The eleventh title of the series, and the very and the remake of the very first Fire Emblem game ever made, it's Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon for the Nintendo DS. Yeah, like I said, it's been the very first fighting game I ever played, and I'm pretty sure like everybody knows, or I know familiar with my channel, knows my history with the Fire Emblem series, but I'll explain it later on. So yeah, uh, if you hear the stuttering there, don't worry, it's just the introduction. I don't know what's wrong with my um, Dust Moon bit, Dust Moon, but whatever. Anyways, time for a brand new, not really new. LP. Probably the last one I'm probably going to do on with OBS. I mean, it's been a while. Maybe a little rusty, but you know what? I was craving this, so let's do it. Welcome to Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. And you know, I realize it's probably tying to like two things. A, the release of Brave Morph and Fire Emblem Heroes, as well as the Limited time only game of uh, Fire Emblem Dark Dragon, the very first Fire Emblem game being released on Nintendo Switch for a limited time only until March 31st. Seriously, I don't understand what's the deal with the limited time only. I don't get it, but okay, whatever. Let's get started. So yeah, I just recently downloaded this one. And um I'm gonna do something a little different here. Since this is a remake of the very first Fire Emblem title, which I know doesn't have much, but it introduces, introduces some new things here. One of which is a special prologue that's only available in normal mode. So, just for just for the sake of showing this off, I'm going to do normal mode. I'm going to make a normal mode file right now, just to show off the prologue. And then once that's done, I'm going to start a new file on hard mode. So yeah, let's show it off. A bit of backstory here. Long ago, Medius, King of the Dragon King, conquered the continent of Archania, giving rise to an age of fear and despair for all its people. That tyranny was broken, however, when an unlikely hero intervened. And the text is overlapping, so I can't read this. What the fuck? Get a blade in the hand, and um, he killed the dragon. What the hell's going on? Why is the thing? Yeah, and then, um, the evil sorcerer came along and revived the dragon. And then, uh, Cam is here, also allied with Dor, Dolona. I really don't know how to pronounce that, but okay. He kidnapped, uh, Princess Nina. But she was saved. And, um... Oh, good lord, what's going on with the text? Yes. And meanwhile, Prince Marth, who was a very young prince at the time, was home with his family, his sister, and his ally Kingdom of Graw until bad things happened. What the fuck was that? Alright, so this is this is a backstory, so I'm just gonna show it off here. Prince Marth, are you awake? Begging your pardon, Sai, but the princess has asked to see you. At least, is she alright? Look at how young Marth is. It's like this is like very young Prince Boy Marth. Is, our, is she alright? She seemed to be sire, but her words implied a certain urgency. She bowed you just quickly and wait by the throne. Has something happened? It's our forces off in grass, sire. There seems to have been some sort of idzy, but I'm not privy to the specifics. I see. Thank you. I'll be there shortly. So yes, this is our protagonist, Marth. And we have no avatar. OC insert here. This is just Marth from beginning to finish. It's first game. What do you know? She'd meet by the throne. An incident in Graw. If Elise has news of our father, I pray it's good news. Oh, wouldn't you like to hope that? So yeah, this is tutorials, but just, you get the idea. I don't really care. Yeah, move near, near the corridor. Yes, I wait, I'll it. Oh dear, that's him, Prince Morth. The enemy. 
Who are you? We're soldiers of Gru, our little prince. And if you know what's good for you, you'll surrender us without making any trouble. Surrender? Well, what's ridiculous? How do I surrender the army of an allied kingdom? They don't tell you much, do they? No matter, you'll have the full story soon enough. Now lay down your sword. I will not. I am the Prince of Altia. I will not yield to you or any other nation. Here in my own land, under my own castle roof. Yeah, you tell him, Princey. So yes, again. Um, hang on. Okay, close this. Yes, this is Marth. He may not be much right now, but whatever, you get the idea. Anyways, so... Yeah, for those who are familiar with my channel, um, you know that Fire Emblem is one of my favorite series. And Shadow Dragon was the very first game I played. I first start, got into the series um, way back in my freshman year of high school. My best friend brought in his DS, and with it he brought Shadow Dragon too. Which is good because, like, during that time, I'm just really, really into um, RPG, turn-based RPGs, like Paper Mario series. So he recommended Fire Emblem. We brought in, I remember, he brought in his DS during my early years of high school. We would take turns playing Shadow Dragon. He just I uh, loved it, and I bought my own copy of the game. And even though I do love this game, I will admit, like nowadays. I find it hard for me to come back to Shadow Dragon. It's not bad, mind you, but I just love the other series. More specifically, Raiding Dawn, the second game I played, and the game that made me into a permanent fan of the Fire Emblem series, pulled a special place in my heart. What? He's fought back? I'll show him. I'm taking your chair. No, the throne. I have to get rid of him before my sister arrives. So yes, by sitting on a throne, you get boosts. You don't get boosts if you stand near a um, candle, near the candles, but oh well. So yeah. Fire Emblem Raiding Dawn was my second, favorite, second title I played, and it's my personal favorite for reasons that made me into a permanent fan of the series. And that's why, and I've also played other games like Three Houses, Awakening, and, um, you know, I'll rank the games later on as it goes on, as, as I move along. Let's do the next chapter. Martha, are you alright? Hey there, big sister, what's wrong? What's happening? Steady yourself, Martha, I have brave news. Our father was defeated by the Dor... Dor... I don't know how to pronounce that. I, I know it's pronounced Delona in the um, original version. This is a translated name, but... Uh, okay, I'm just gonna pronounce this Delona to make it easier. But the Delona Grust Allied Forces. Yep. So yes, he's learning. This is the backstory. That their nation, allied nation, Grob, betrayed Altia and killed them by... Killed his fault, killed the king, by selling him into the enemy forces. Mother and, uh, mother and his mother and his sister were separated trying to escape. And yeah, this is really hard, especially for a young kid like him. Go on without me. What? We don't have any more soldiers, in, but don't worry. The castle is lost. Find Jenga and get away from here. She'll join up. Yeah, not really. She's not joining him. She's just buying time. That much is obvious. Yeah. Good old Dust Moon. Kind of crappy. Crapping out on me. But whatever. Horses! Frey! And Abel, you're alive! Yes, sir. Princess Elise Betas protect you. Sir Miletus, stay behind and accompany you. We must be quick! Except the enemy is right fucking there! Well, this won't do. How did they find it? How did they get this far? They ought to be caught. We'll be caught like mice. Oh yes, losing units. If enemy reaches, if the unit, yeah. If your if your units reach zero HP, they're dead. If Mark dies, it's game over. So we got some new characters. Not really new. Abel and Frey. I should point out interesting note about Frey here. He wasn't in the original um, 
Shadow Dragon. Instead, he was only added as a, um, as part of the remake. For reasons that uh, become obvious later on as time moves on, but... Yes, Abel is classic Abel here, and he's rocking, and unlike the other guys, he's rocking a javelin. Which is really good. And holy shit, Abel can outspeed them. Well, I'm not gonna whine about my luck here because I kinda saw it just coming. And more importantly, this is just this is just normal mode prologue. It's really actually now that I think of it, what I do here doesn't really matter. And who's there who thinks they can sneak up on us? Oh, uh -huh, what's this? I spy the Altine Prince. Oi, right, listen up, you lot! Bag the Prince. Dead or alive, he'll fetch us as sweet a reward as the mind can conjure. And he means literal sweets, like app sweet apples, chocolate candies, all the likes. Okay. So yes, archers! We'll need to take care they don't pick us up from afar. I mean, yeah, you gotta know how archers work. Okay, so I should probably go over my rank. How I would rank the, um, my five games. Or more specifically, the ones that I've played so far. Um, Radiant Dawn is first. That one is obvious for personal reasons. Um, secondly, I'd have to give it to the more recently released um, Three Houses. Because holy shit, Three Houses is a fucking great game, and I absolutely love it. Like, the Blue Lines route is definitely, without it, my favorite route ever. I haven't played Golden Deer yet, but there's no way it's beating the, um, blue lines for me. I'm sorry. And third favorite would be Awakening, which for the which for the longest time has been my second favorite title. Because, well, I haven't played any other games after that. Well, I haven't played much after this. But Awakening was always my second favorite, until Three Houses came along and pretty much dethroned it for me. Fourth, I would give it to New Mystery, because New Mystery did so much, improved so much on Shadow Dragon, it still disappoints me that this game, that game had never been released outside of Japan. Fifth would be Path of Radiance, even though I haven't played too much of it, I still love it, because I don't know. I'm not that I'm not trying to be too biased on the Tele series, but holy shit, the Tele series is so good, and I really wish they'd remake, remaster them, or release them on the Nintendo Switch. Seriously. Then I put Binding Blade, Blazing Blade, and Shadow Dragon there. That, those are the ones I played. Here's Dragon. Sire, glad to be to see you in one piece. Not safe for you here. Must be away at once. Hey, there's Kane over there. Prince Mars, where are you? Answer me, sire! Kane? That's Kane! Yeah, you know, the... You know, Kane and Abel, right? Based off the biblical things. Those wounds! There's no scratch on him! It's really you. I feared the worst. His message would go undeliv- Ah! In that state, I don't think you'd stay to horse. God treat them at one. Not till we escaped. Kane, I trust you can put off bleeding to death for just a while longer? Yeah, sure, I can, yeah, sure, I can stave off dying. No biggie. Alright, there's introduction of Miletius, who was Prince Mar- no, Miletus. Who was, um, Prince Mar's original advisor until I think he died in New Mystery, I don't know. At least it's time to go, but she's not going anywhere, she's staying here. Too many people have died to keep Alti and its castle safe. I cannot abandon what so many lives have been bought. Father and mother are unaccounted for. I'm the natural choice to remain with Altia's people. Besides, I'll just buy time for you guys. Gather your things and no, she's not going anywhere. Guide him, Miletus. Even when the rest of us no longer can. All right, do my best. Time to go. The hesitation. So yes, Belise is not going. She's staying. Prologue three. Can I read this text? I hope I can read this. Thus, Prince Moth escaped Altia Castle with Sir Jagan and company at his side. 
However, the success would mean little to him once he learned the cost. The boy's woes were just beginning. Okay, at least that text is fine. Kane, how are your wounds? You should rest. These scratches? It's my pride, your wounds, sire. Anyway, we need to talk. There's a reason I return. Deliver your majesty's last words. Yep. His father, despite getting stabbed in the head, well, not the head, back. If you got stabbed in the head, you wouldn't even be able to talk Yes, his father is dead, because he was betrayed by his nation. His last words are, Tell my son I leave the future of Altia and our continent in his hands. He must rise now where I've fallen. As Falcons of rightful hair, he has been born into greatness. Now, he must be great. Don't try. Uh, you ought to do more than try, you know. But Kane, eh? Kane's also sad by this too, you know. Avenge the Fallen. They'll pay, all of them. They visit their homes, yes. Sure, I guess I'll show them off. Your countrymen love you. Perhaps they have knowledge that may serve us? I mean, sure, let's do that. Oh yes, we can highlight the text by pressing the um, X button. Which in this case on the computer is S. So yes, Kane is here. Kane's also Kane and Abel are obviously the best you, great units. Jagan is obviously the Jagan. In fact, this is where the archetypes come into play. All right, let's visit these houses. Just because you see an enemy over yonder doesn't mean you should run up to him like a fool, you know. Lure one out and take him out. Then go on and lure out the next. That's how we did when I was a lad. Wise advice, old man. I'll heed your... I'll heed your... Heed your words. Now that I think of it, yeah, you know what? It really doesn't matter what I do here because, again, I'm gonna start a new file on hard one once once we go into play. So, I'm gonna go gung ho and just go with the javelins. Bada bing, bada boom, you're dead. Enemies, enemies, and more enemies. Not all of the draws. Might Harry's the castle. The left soldiers are outside as well. The lists have no place to escape. Yeah, if only you knew the truth. But you'll learn soon enough. He's standing on a house. Now we get more boosts. Abel is really, really fast. Holy crap. I know, like, Shadow Dragon, even though it's a remake of the first game, just doesn't have too many mechanics here. There are some things missing. Like, there's no canto ability, meaning horses, like horseback units can't move, can't move back after they had their turn. There are no support conversations, support bonuses, and of course, no dancers. I know, it's like, nowadays, like, this game doesn't have too much going for it. But, you know. But you know, it's like, still a remake of the first game. It has some standards to set. Okay, I just wanted to skip the battle animation here. It doesn't really matter what I do. I keep saying that. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done another LP. Because, thinking about it... Yeah, javelins and hand axes are versatile weapons. I'm just visiting the house to see what they have. Sir Jenkins of Paladin, the champion Altia. He may be old, but he's as strong as an ox. Still, don't have him do all the work. That's not fair to all your would-be future champions. Let your other units fight and gain experience. Yeah, Jagan is strong right now, but like most Jagans, most pre early pre-promotes, he will fall off later on, so, you know, give others a chance to fight. If you get hurt, rest a spell at a fort. A short stay there and you'll be feeling as whole as ever. Yes, by staying at a at these wooden Lego forts, like this guy here you're standing on, you'll heal up. Alright, Kane's taking the beating. But he can handle it. He's freaking Kane, for goodness sakes. Kane is the bull and Abel's the panther. Like yeah, I think he's the yeah, he's the bull. Here come the archers. 
I mean, it's been a, like, like I said, it's been a while since I've done some LP recording. I mean, I've been playing Pokemon LPs for a long time, and honestly, I think it's time I take a break from this. For a year and a half, I've been playing these LPs. Alright. Hang on, let me take a look at Able Speed. 8 Speed, yeah. Yeah, use this. Use the weapon triangle to advantage. Even though their bonuses are small, they really do come in handy. Even though that guy... Yeah, whatever. Mages! That complicates things. They don't need to, to get as close to do us harm. Approach carefully, because mages hurt. Especially when you consider the fact that nobody has any knows the meaning of the word resistance. I guess you could say resistance really is futile. I want to go or something later on. I'll go something. I'll go do it when I get the chance. All right. I'll just kill you right now and get you out of the way. I think we also rem everyone also remembers the um, Fire Emblem anime. Uh, probably not, but you know the one that had two episodes, only two episodes. Yeah, basically. Yeah, weapons aren't indestructible. You know they have limits. I'm pretty sure Fates pretty much disagrees with that. I mean, I don't know. Was that the game that introduced um um? Unbreakable weapons? I forget. But yeah, remember the final anime that only had two episodes, was based on Shadow Dragon. Never got any more because... Spoiler alert, I guess it just wasn't really that good. I mean, it's like one of those shows that's like, so bad it's good, I suppose. But... I don't know. I would like to see anim I would like to see an anim final anime for the other games too. I mean, I guess we have some for Three Houses and um, I would like, but still, I don't know. It would be cool to see and get to the fort, get to the chopper. There, that ought to do it for the enemy soldiers around here. And Maletus. Why aren't you with my sister? Did you leave her somewhere safe? Um, Princess Lisa is not joining us. She has selected to stay at the castle. Hold on, Sire. Where are you going? Where do you think? Stop, Sire. Consider for a moment why the princess would go so far as to lie to you to ensure your escape. Your sister knows that you're the future of Altia. Nay, the whole land. Yeah, remember what Kane said ten minutes ago? I mean, jeez, Mark, did you just, just forget? You're the future, damn it! You must live, sire. Drink deeply now these injustices. Drink it in! The very bitter tasting of the very dark and bitter taste of coffee. And it seems my life is no longer mine to hazard. In your blood flows the blood of a hero, the blood of Henri. You are a son to House Archania and the sole heir to Fal Falcion. Our only hope of deleting Medius, Emperor of Delona. Sir, wert it in- wert? Okay. Yes. Whether you like it or not, you're the Hero King. So suck it up and move on. Damn it.